the vision, artistry and skill of Dmitry Shaparis can be perfectly appreciated when one looks at one of his greatest works, the iconic group Les Girls. Chiparis would have been captivated by the costume worn by the Tiller Girls, with its lizard-like qualities, embellished with gilding and skin tight, which would have been an unusual and highly provocative costume during the 1920s. A further influence on these costumes would have been Sergei Diaghilev, who would have designed many similar costumes for the Ballet Russe, and also Léon Basque, who would have been in the audience himself during these performances and admired the costumes and used them as inspiration for some of his painted works. The costumes represent a newfound freedom for women and for female expression in the Jazz Age. The central female dancer wears a jewel-like costume that picks out the cobweb design. The headdress is both dramatic and futuristic in its appearance, giving them a timeless quality. And all three girls convey the sense of modernity that was a feature of Leon Bach's designs. As with the figure of Les Girls, the costume that Clara wears is rich in ornamentation and decorative merit. Here, the reclining figure is almost certainly based on the dancer Ida Rubenstein, who was a magnificent performer for the Ballet Russe and performed in particular in a reclining position similar to the one depicted here during the ballet Scheherazade. Her sweeping pose is both dramatic and captivating. She encapsulates all the drama of the Ballet Russe and its skilled performers. The great skill of Dmitry Shiparis and those who worked for him was often in the carving of the ivory detail. Here, on the figure of Clara, we see this beautiful, mesmerizing expression on her face that has been entirely carved from the ivory and the fingers on each hand with great detail and realism. The embellishment of the costume is almost like a chain mail and gives us an insight into how heavy it must have felt for the performer while on stage, particularly with the hot theatre lights. The emancipated female with daring bare midriff would again have shocked audiences who came to the Ballet Russe.